Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. When ASML was still banning EUV lithography machines from China, people in northeast China suddenly took out an artificial sun. In the spring of 2025, the laboratory of Harbin Institute of Technology threw out a set of explosive data. Their plasma cannon blasted out 43 watts of extreme ultraviolet light, directly piercing the top of the domestic lithography machine. What's more cruel is that this technology actually learned the principle of nuclear fusion, using electromagnetic fields to clamp high-temperature plasma and creating a miniature sun in the laboratory. ASML engineers broke out in a cold sweat after seeing the parameters. Is this a Takamak device stuffed into a lithography machine? Back in 2018, when the EUV lithography machine ordered by SMIC was stuck in a Dutch port by the United States, no one could have imagined that the Chinese would take a wild path. At that time, ASML's EUV was like alien technology, and a 250-watt laser plasma light source could carve a 5-nanometer groove on a silicon wafer, while China had to look to the Japanese for even DUV photoresist. The turning point is hidden in the bottleneck list. After Huawei was cut off from 7-nanometer chips in 2022, the Chinese Academy of Sciences took the lead in launching of People's War on Lithography Machines, Harbin Institute of Technology played with plasma, Tsinghua University worked on accelerators, and Huawei worked on distributed solutions, which was a modern version of Eight Immortals Crossing the Sea. In the words of Ren Jingfei, the Western blockade list is our research list. The most amazing thing is the choice of technical routes. Although ASML's laser-blasting tin bead solution is strong, it requires 20 years of accumulation of precision optical systems. The Chinese team took a different approach. Harbin Institute of Technology transformed nuclear fusion technology into a light source. Tsinghua University used particle accelerators to generate extreme ultraviolet light, and Huawei was even more amazing, directly creating six low-power EUVs to group fight a wafer. This world war of lithography machines is destined to rewrite the rulebook of the semiconductor world. Harbin Institute of Technology's unique skill is to stuff the artificial sun at the nuclear fusion site into the lithography machine. Professor Wang, who is in charge of the project, revealed, our discharge plasma is equivalent to installing an electromagnetic cannon on the lithography machine. The high temperature of 43,000 excited by the electric pulse is three times hotter than the surface of the sun. It is all thanks to the magnetic confinement device that this ball of violent energy is clamped. Although the equipment occupies two basketball courts, it can process 30 wafers per hour, which is enough to feed a 28 nanometer production line. Compared with ASML's laser blasting tin bead solution, although the power of the Chinese version is only one sixth of that of others, the energy conversion efficiency is 15% higher. The former vice president of R&D of TSMC saw the data and slapped his thigh. We tried this way back then, but we didn't expect it to be succeeded by the people in northeast China. Huawei's operation is even more amazing. Since a single EUV can't beat ASML, it simply made six beggar version, lithography machines to cooperate. Each machine has a power of 35 watts, and through the 5G industrial internet, it is like six snipers focusing on one target. What's more amazing is that they use double exposure technology, 
to carve out a 5 nanometer circuit with 7 nanometer photoresist. SMIC engineer Lao Li laughed and said, This is equivalent to carving a miniature version of the Qingming Shanghe 2 with a kitchen knife. Data shows that Huawei's solution can produce 125 wafers per hour, which is less than ASML's 200 wafers, but the construction cost is only one third. Yangtze Memory has secretly placed an order for 20 units and is preparing to build a distributed lithography theme park in Wuhan. Light sources alone are not enough, and the Chinese team is holding back more tricks in the dark. The speed of Shanghai Microelectronics dual work table exceeds 1.2 meters per second, which is 15% faster than ASML, the high numerical aperture objective lens of the Changchun Institute of Optics fine mechanics, and physics has a resolution of 0.33 Na. Although it is far from ASML's 0.55 Na, it can be hard to reach 7 nanometers with the help of computational lithography software. The most surprising thing is the RF photoresist of Nanjing University of Science and Technology Optoelectronics, with a yield of 92%. The Japanese almost committed seppuku after seeing the test report. ASML CEO Peter Wynn recently said at a financial report meeting, it will take at least 10 years for China to catch up with us. But privately, he sent a commercial spy to sneak into the laboratory of Harbin Institute of Technology, but was scolded by the security guard in northeastern dialect and doubted his life. This EUV breakout battle is very similar to the Battle of Shangenling during the war to resist U.S. aggression and aid Korea. When ASML built a technical wall with a precision industrial system, Chinese engineers used the wisdom of making steel by primitive methods to carve out a breakthrough. From the plasma of Harbin Institute of Technology, to the distributed lithography of Huawei, each technical route is engraved with four words, self-reliance. Qian Shuesen once said, if foreigners can do it, can't the Chinese do it? Looking at the double work table assembled in the Shanghai Microelectronics Workshop, I vaguely saw the drillers of Daking oilfield roaring in the ice and snow. ASML's 0.55 NA objective is not the end, but a beacon tower on the long march of Chinese lithography machines. This war across nanometers will eventually prove that the most sophisticated lithography machine can never carve out the ingenuity of the Chinese nation.